Something I've had a fair share of experience with is the narcissist and empath relationship. And there's so much information out there about this dynamic and a lot of different belief systems. Um, I don't see a whole lot of people really touch on the dynamic from this point of view. So I want to offer this. If it aligns, take it. If it doesn't, discard it. Find what works for you. So in some way, we've all had these people that we may identify as a narcissist in our life, as well as an empath. Maybe that's you. Yet, I don't think that we, um, we work enough with realizing that we all have narcissistic tendencies. And that as we develop through life, if uh, a lot of our basic needs, emotional needs, don't get met, we develop more of the narcissistic traits in order to um, receive the energy that we're not getting through those other outlets that should be delivering the basic needs, the emotional needs. So we develop that as a um, manipulation to receive energy. Now, as an empath, empaths are extraordinarily perceptive and sensitive and uh, undefined when it comes to their energetic boundaries. So even a narcissist, and I really use that term carefully, I don't like to place a label on anyone. And, and that's why I prefer and encourage people to use maybe terms like narcissistic tendencies, narcissistic traits, narcissistic characteristics, um, because that at least leaves some room for growth and for potential for healing. So with being the empath, we tend to uh, draw these people in because we don't have the boundaries to keep that kind of manipulation out. It's not so much about the person as it is about the patterns of energetic exchange that are happening. And when we meet um, this person that we have identified these characteristics and traits in, there's a lot of stuff out there that just really frames us in a victim position. And what I'm about to say doesn't just apply to this dynamic in relationships. This, this applies to all parts of life. The moment that we believe that we are a victim, we have given our power away. And for someone who has not asserted or established healthy boundaries, it is necessary for them to encounter someone who has a strong tendency to manipulate boundaries and to take advantage. You know, I think a lot of people report, you know, being taken advantage of mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically. So I pose the question, if you didn't have the opposition and the contrast of somebody pressing against your weaknesses, would you ever be able to develop these areas that are so crucial and important to the integrity of your being and your ability to live a healthy, successful life, in my opinion? It, would that be possible? And I ask that to start to shift the perspective to empowerment. When you can start to recognize that you are a powerful co-creative manifester and that you call into your experience everything that you need, meaning that you have a responsibility to that relationship, that you brought it in and that that relationship is not there to be the death of you. It is there to bring the life. It is there to bring definition and power. 
So I know that this could be uh, triggering for some people and there may be a real reactiveness and I just ask you to really sit with that idea of empowerment through ownership and how that feels. How does it feel to think of yourself as the victim? What kind of feelings does that stir up in, inside of you? First, how does it feel to say, you know, I, I guess that there are ways that I invited this person in because I, I allowed certain things to happen and to continue to happen. Allowing is a acknowledgement that something is okay. So could you hold some responsibility for not maybe saying and acting according to what you were feeling. So I know that this is, uh, can be even a lot to process and to digest, but there's so many gifts that come from reaching this point. It really is a developmental stage, especially in an impasse life but for everyone to find their way in defining those, those boundaries within themselves. It is both a protective um, field that we have to, to know, to be able to speak, to be able to represent energetically, as well as um, abide by within ourselves because it always reflects our inner state and, and the boundaries that sometimes um, we step over that we have set. So, mm, my particular experience with being an empath and the very vital roles that people have played in my life that had strong narcissistic, sociopathic tendencies. They've been my greatest teachers. They still are. And um, it has given me a great sense of confidence in my choices, in my voice, in being able to cultivate the strength where I thought I was weak. And it really only happens by being in those uncomfortable moments and still speaking up for yourself, standing up for yourself, and not from a place of victimhood, but from a place of ownership. So I hope that this helps and that if there is anyone in your life, if you are that person that has been experiencing this dynamic, that you just take a moment and you can shift into a place that allows you, um, rather than escaping from it, to be nourished by it. I know that it may not feel that way, but once you come out of it and on the other side and you reap all of the gifts and the knowledge and the wisdom from that kind of dynamic, you will find that you will start to create much healthier relationships with other people, with uh, money, with your job, with your family, friends, and of course yourself and source. So if you have any questions, I would love to keep going into this. Any comments? Um, yeah, anything that you would like to discuss further, I'm open to taking this into a deep dive and looking at all the different dynamics and functions around uh, the narcissist and empath relationship and what that, that particular um, journey it is the journey of the empath. They will encounter this. What that particular journey may look like moving forward and the different ways that you can, um, the different levels of interaction that happen during and after it. So drop a comment. If you like it, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. Let me know why. And let's go deeper into this.